Hello, everybody. My name is Eho Turkey, and hey, no, okay, Nick, you can put your gun down. Fine now. Well, well, well. It's the detective tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress. Why? Someone stand you up? You trying no. to uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? Uh, no. I'm working with him right now. We're working together, yeah. Really? Well, you're in luck. I got a special offer on some insurance for partners of the great gumshoe here. I don't want you back the fuck up, you buddy. Back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Whoa, 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 time out. Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. Oh, um. Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new mayor. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Holy shit! Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? It's breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Yeah, I'm totally fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. All right, then. Kind of sounds like anarchy, but, uh... Good neighbor? That what you call this place? That's right. We cobbled this little neighborhood together out of the freaks and misfits that just wouldn't be accepted anywhere else. You'll see. You make enough friends here, you'll call this place home soon enough. See ya. So long as you remember who's in charge. Okay. Well... Hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Let's see what you have. Each weapon tested on someone who deserved it. Okay. Ooh, bayoneted missile launcher. Bayoneted missile launcher. Take that. Um. Da 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 da. Ooh. Oh, how much is it? Three ninety. I'll take it. Oh no, it's even less than that. Yes. Um. Wow, it's actually really cool. Flight welding goggles, spike armor. Let's see here. Devastators. Um, power armor frame, junk, ammo. <coughs> Actually, I think I'm good, so. Alright. I'll be staying near around. Look alive. There's Hold position. Moving out. Can do. Brotherhood of Steel better stay out of the <clears> room. <throat> no, oh, I'm saying. A new face walks into my store, and you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Sure. Let's take a look. Are, are they? I think they're ghouls. But they look different. Um, <clears throat> marked an art. Um, all right, yeah, I just sort of, I don't know, I'm sort of bumming around right now. Uh, I know it was quiet for like a good amount there, so I'm probably just gonna skip it. So, yeah, it'll probably get like an extra two minutes. A lot of crazy stuff, like a flying ship. <laughs> yeah. Memory Den. Alright. Just going back to the Memory Den, guys. This is apparently where all the DLC... This is what I, I would theorize. This is where all the DLC is going to happen. 
So, yeah. A little bit long well, this. well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the loan. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. You got the memory pod loaded up? Oh, you're not Irma. Downstairs. Oh, okay. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Aye, aye, Captain. So... Okay? Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. Yep. No, uh, I got... We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. So, what now? Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Oh, yeah, here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. So, go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. That's true. Will it work? You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? All right. Let's see you. Perfect. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. So what does that mean? Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Uh -huh. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He okay. acts as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Let's do it! Right. Sounds like fun! Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Don't actually do that. You on the other side. Your uh, brain will end up getting fried. Alright. So, I guess... Oh, I've been in one of these things before. Uh, this is kind of like Vault 1 whatever. What was it? 110? Was it Vault 110? I can't remember. I feel like, yeah, no, it was Vault 110. It's degenerated, but it's there. Uh, We're going yeah. to load you into the strongest memories we can find. Oh, 110, wasn't it? It might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. It's not like... Can you me? <laughs> the appears to be working. 
Although the memories are quite fragmentary. Motherfucker, what happened? I'll step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Where the fuck am I? What did you do to me? This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Oh, okay. Doc, I'm seeing some weird shit. The fuck's going on? Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really... NCR? I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. What we're looking for. Don't know why Mom was with him. There appears to be Maybe another at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. In temporal sequence. There. Mom knew how it was. Try that one. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she... People always hoping for something better. They usually end up with something worse. This is messed up. Like in a lot of different ways. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it and it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, huh. you don't really believe it focus on the petty bullshit or next job or whatever it's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand that's what happiness felt like it's gonna be fine you'll see but we don't know anybody here and now with the baby come on I was the worst thing that ever happened to her if she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. That's San Francisco. I got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? I thought San Francisco was my chance to start fresh. That was the hot shit. The gunslinger from the hub. Rolling into town with the world at my feet. Huh. Everybody knew I was the one who'd shot Valdez. I could write my own ticket to any outfit in town. Valdez. Valdez. It all worked out pretty damn well. For a while. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Not for one second. Kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Well, not this memory. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Alright then. This is some weird shit, but okay. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? This is weird. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. 
I'll connect you. So Kellogg was in the NCR, in the hub, San Francisco. So why the fuck is he here? Well, then again, it was 10 years, or... Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends together. There was almost always a bar, though. That's universal. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. There was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter who I was supposed to kill. I got pretty good at it. So, uh, there's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead. After theater what they dinner wanted. menu. Sometimes they thought that's they could suggestive. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. Didn't matter to me. That they just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. One way or another. I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. I don't know if we're quote unquote getting closer or just getting further along in the timeline of his life. And yeah, guys, I uh, right now my clock right now my timer says it's been 20 minutes, but I'm gonna keep going because I skipped over some stuff in my time, so Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't going to be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. And the world had it coming. The first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more, and kept making them better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. Oh. I wanted to see. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute, but I figured they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. <coughs> which suited me just fine. That's cool. For myself, if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. That's true. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. That was impressive. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. 
One yeah. of these has got to tell us something. That was actually really warm. We're running out of brain here. Ah, oh. oh, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Go. Fuck. Suspended. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Who are they grabbing? Still working. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. And yeah, I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. That's good. Sure. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I found another intact memory. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. That's a lot of... Take me out. They won't be able to hide from him for long. Looking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Yeah, I know how this one ends. Do 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 do. That's creepy. Is that your son? This whole this setup in Diamond City is part time. of some elaborate so plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. Old man. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. That's weird. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. That's weird. Kellogg. It's okay. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Hmm. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. What? Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. 
Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Sean, don't do it! Sean! X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. What? Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Oh. I guess I'll, uh, <laughs> see you guys next time. See ya! <laughs> Motherfucker, what the hell? God damn it! I know this game and I still got scared!